Welcome to my YouTube channel, and this channel is called W Kiza. And for this video, we'll be looking at the subject N4 Electrotechnics. And the lesson we are covering is three phase AC motors. And this is the second part of AC motors. And AC motors makes up 10% of the national curriculum for N4 Electrotechnics. Now, first of all, looking at the three phase motor, we'll first take a look at the stator frame and then the rotor. Now for the stator frame, it consists of the primary windings. The outer casing is used to protect the inner parts. The stator core is made of steel laminated sheets. And the three stator windings produce the rotating magnetic field. The three stator windings could be connected in star. If you have a look at the terminal box, you'll see that for a star connected three phase motor, it is bridged horizontally. The three stator windings could be connected in delta. If you have a look at the terminal box, you'll see that the stator windings are bridged vertically. Now for the rotor, it consists of the secondary windings. We have the squirrel cage rotor, which consists of skew rotor bars, short circuited by means of end rings. They are mainly used for AC induction motors. The construction is simple, robust. It has smooth and silent operation, which means it requires very little maintenance. And it's nice, simple, robust, strong construction. Now the winder type rotor, also known as a slip ring rotor, the rotor windings are connected in star to the slip rings. The slip rings are connected to external resistance and they are mainly used in cranes and elevators. Now the advantages of the winder type rotor, it has high starting torque, high start current can be limited and it has speed control because of the external resistance. To define the term slip, slip is the difference between synchronous speed and rotor speed. In other words, the speed of the rotating magnetic field versus the speed of the rotor. Now, in order for EMF to be generated, there needs to be a difference in speed between synchronous speed and rotor speed. And this is represented as a percentage called slip. Now, the question is, how do we produce a rotating magnetic field? And this happens across the primary windings in the stator. We take three coils, they are placed 120 degrees apart. And the current through each coil is also out of phase with each other by 120 degrees. And then what happens is we have a combination of three magnetic fields, which produce the resultant rotating magnetic field known as synchronous speed. What are the advantages of three phase motors when compared to single phase motors? Well, three phase motors, the biggest advantage, they are self-starting, they are smaller, cheaper, more efficient and have a better power factor. Now, the question is how to reverse the rotation of an AC induction motor. Now, if you have a look at the terminal box, you'll see these three stator windings are connected in star. And the reason why they are bridged horizontally. Now the first live is color coded red. The second stator coil has a line which is color coded yellow. And then the third stator coil has a line color coded in blue. Now in order to change the direction of a three phase motor, it is necessary to reverse two of the supply lines to the stator. So basically all we do is we swap the red wire and the yellow wire we swap them around and this will reverse the direction of rotation for an AC induction motor. Thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed this video, you can just hit that like button. Thank you.